Hello and welcome to Host FTP Tutorials. Today's tutorial is going to cover the Users tab, explain the features and tools on this tab, the different user settings, and how to use a user in your use case. Let's begin. On the Users tab, you will find your current list of users in the center panel. On the right hand side, you will find the big Add button which allows you to quickly add a user by email invite, the Add Username button which does not require an email, and the Import Users button which allows you to add multiple users simultaneously. In the center panel, you can view your user information such as the name listed on the user, the username, email associated with the account, if two-step authentication is enabled, the amount of space the user has occupied in your storage, the user's storage quota, the percentage of that quota they have reached, the bandwidth usage, the bandwidth quota, and the percentage of that quota used. Let's click Add to add a user by email invite. Enter the email address or click To and select a contact to use an existing email already listed in your account. Fill in the appropriate fields and click Save. This will send an activation link to the user's inbox informing them that their account is now active. New users will be asked to create their own password and accept the terms and conditions before logging in. Once complete, you can click the user back in the Users tab center panel and change their user information. Our recommendation is to use the Add Username button to create a user. This is so you can customize the user's login credentials. Where it says Name, we suggest inserting Click on Files tab to transfer files in default folder. This instruction will appear upon login and direct the user to visit the Files tab. Save, and at this time, you can click Add to link an email to this user. Note that users without an email cannot receive notifications. Next, let's review the user settings. Unchecking Active will disable the user's ability to access their account and they will be unable to log in. The admin option is available for enterprise account bundles and above. Check the admin box to make this user an admin. A user admin has been given additional privileges to define other users as well as user privileges. Click the link below for more information on different types of users. Check force FTPS or SFTP to force this user to use a secure protocol when connecting using any FTP client. Check Manage User Settings to make this user a managed user. This will remove the Setup tab from the user's account, disabling their ability to change their login credentials such as their username and password. Use the drop-down menu to give this managed user read-only access. Note that if you give a user read-only access, they will not be able to upload anywhere, including shared folders. Leave Manage User Settings unchecked to give this user the ability to change their username and password. Add a storage quota to limit the amount of storage the user can occupy in your remote site. Note that this user will still be able to upload into shared folders. Add a bandwidth quota to limit the amount of bandwidth this user can use. Underneath, specify an expiry date to have any mail events that appear in this user's home tab deleted after a specified amount of days. Checking Show Mail in FTP folder will show all received mail events in a new folder in the Files tab. By default, the folder will be called Mail, but you can change the name of the folder in the blank field. Default FTP folder will make the user land in the specified folder immediately upon login. Simply enter the folder name from your folder structure in the blank field. Now, when the user clicks the Files tab, they will immediately start from that directory. Save Import Results in FTP folder will reveal all imported users, contacts, or shares in the specified folder. By default, the folder will be called Import. Notify Me When will enable email notifications for this user when mail events are received, when files are sent, or both. Use the drop-down menu to select when you would like this user to receive notifications. Add additional security to this user by adding a security question upon password reset. 
add download instructions to any files shared with this user, and finally, enable PKI keys for this user by inserting the public key in the blank field. Once you reviewed and selected all the user settings that suit your use case, click Save to finalize your decision. Head back to the Users tab and let's add multiple users simultaneously. Click the Import Users button located on the right hand side. For each new user, add a username and password separated by a comma with no spaces, just like the example you see above. Use a new line for each user and once complete, click Import to automatically populate your user list. Click a user to configure their settings. Above the center panel, you can find the group link. On this page, you can create and manage groups. A group is a community of users with controlled and managed resources. To create a group, click Add located on the right hand side of the interface. Give the group a name, then using the group drop down menu, select a user to become the admin of the group. Group admins can delegate resources and freely add or move users from the group. Visit www.help.hostedftp.com for additional help, tutorials, articles, and support resources. Use our live chat to talk to a representative or email support at hostedftp.com for your business inquiries. Thank you so much for watching.